Hey Tribe, welcome to the HGDC, HG Designs Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This is my channel all about crochet, knitting, a yarny life, and making moments and memories. Thank you for coming and spending this time with me. If you're a new viewer, hi, hello, and welcome, get comfy, join in. And if you're a returning viewer, Hi Tribe, welcome back. We are now over 400 subscribers, which is amazing. And I just want to say thank you all for subscribing, pressing like, commenting, and coming back to me each week. I love spending this time with you. Today is the 17th of August, and my vlog is all about my granny square jacket pattern which is just here, smooshed behind me. I have lots of information and updates to give you on it, so I'm gonna get straight into that. Um, so you will have all watched, hopefully watched, if not go and watch the vlog about this a couple of weeks ago. Um, and in that I explained that I had had a disappointment, I wanted to release a different pattern and that wasn't meant to be. And so I reached for the hook to work through my disappointment, which I think a lot of us do, and started making a granny square. Now this granny square was on my hook as I was crocheting furiously, and I was thinking to myself, I don't need any more granny squares. I've got stashes of them just there, and in here, and over there, and other places I'm not gonna to admit to. I don't need any more granny squares just to sit by. So then I thought, right, I'm gonna make this into something that I can wear. And this was born. I find the granny square incredibly healing, incredibly soothing, and it is my go-to stitch if I just want to have some mindful, mindless crochet. I used um, lots of just random, not scraps, but very small leftovers and partial skeins within this stack here and I decided to go for the pinks and the purples which imitate my um, giant granny square blanket of which you can see in my blanket vlog. By the way, that video's got over 2,000 views. Wow, you lot must love that. Um, it's really nice that you've all watched my work and it's that popular, but anyway. So I used the pinks and the purples and if I get a bit closer, you can see the glitter. It wouldn't be me without the glitter. Um, this square is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 rounds. And I pretty much did it in an evening as well as some of the other <laughs> parts of this. Um, I just use a standard 5 mil hook and I decided that as I was going to wear it I wanted um, chest pieces as well and so I did those in a granny rectangle and there's two of those. I've since decided that I'm going to do these in pure navy to make the rest of it pop and I have ordered that yarn, no, I need to order that yarn and I should do that today so that this could be pure navy and then the back will just pop. Um, then I made my own sleeves and this is what took the majority of my time. I um, have a love-hate relationship with sleeves. Once you get them right, they're amazing, but doing them is so, basically you just spend your entire day frogging but I made the sleeves. Um, I've got this cuff detail and then it goes into a double crochet to make it a tighter fit and then it balloons out and this is actually a small balloon sleeve. Um, and then I did granny stripe in some of the colors from the main body back piece and then I finished off in the navy. Um, I decided to put the colour in to save on navy because I didn't have much left and even though I'm going to be ordering more navy I'm leaving the sleeves as is although I'm probably going to add a little bit more some double crochets here because I just feel it's a little bit too loose so there's lots of tweaks to be done on this um, and whilst I wait for the yarn which I haven't ordered 
I have started another one which will come on to. Um, I asked you all to give me name suggestions because I wasn't sure what I wanted to call it and I'm just going to get my Mac. Um, I had some amazing comments so thank you for Karen um, who said you've got nothing but love for my jacket. Um, Renee who said you love my cardigan. Um, and you suggested love your granny cardi which is really nice. Um, Tammy said Grammy, Granny's Rippling Pond, um, Omar you always comment, thank you so much, Nicole you said you love my cardigan, the colours are beautiful and you agree with the solid navy, I'm definitely doing that, definitely, um, it's just going to really pop um, and where was Grace said you'd be a tester. Thank you. Um, then Hazel, you said granny hug, which I was thinking along those lines as well. Um, then we've got Nadia Ratani. I've probably butchered that, but I was watching your vlog the other day. Hope that makes up for it. Um, you were saying Basically that I'm really good for reaching out to the other client, um, other designer rather, and um, reworking my other design, which I'm going to do at some point when I've got this out of my system. Then um, you also commented on that jumper. I'm going to leave that for another day. Then we've got Joanna. You said you love my cardigan and you suggested party at the back. And I do really like the suggestion of party in the back. Um, and I think I'm going to do a collection where all of the designs have got all the details in the back, party in the back. So thank you so much for that suggestion, that's great. Um, Tyrion, thank you for commenting, thank you for being such a great supporter. Um, I also love the sleeves um, and the granny square in the back. I think the impact is amazing, so that's why navy at the front is a definite. Um, Cindy, again, you said... That I should go with the navy in the front all positive I'm with you all on this guys um and then Rachel you're gonna be at Nottingham Yarn Expo so am I and also you have been a real good support so thank you so much um Lynette you also said that you love my new design so thank you let's see if there's any more down here we've got Ben Trip one you said glam gram cardigan, which I do love because of the glitter. Um, and also I'm getting like bomber jacket vibes off it as well. So that's something else to think about. Um, Joyce, you said you love, love, love my jacket. Thank you so much. So yes, thank you all for commenting. I do read them all. I do reply to them all. I do love having that interaction. Crochet for me is all about connecting with the community as well and so hearing your thoughts and comments is great so thank you so so much. Um, so I had all your suggestions and I was working it all through in my mind and um, didn't have my grandma to bounce off this time but I just had sort of a load of buzzwords in my head and I wanted it to be the, um, the name to sort of embody like healing because the granny square is so healing and when I put it on my Instagram at HG Designs Crochet um, a lot of people also commented their granny square is their go-to they find it really healing so I wanted to sort of have a name that suggested healing that suggested um, I just love the fact that you make something to heal your mind and then you wear it to protect you which is also healing um, and so long story short I've come up with one word that is going to be my name for this pattern i love my one words um that we'll have to go into that another day but the one word for my granny square jacket is going to be enamored and i'm just going to read out the definition because i should have had this ready for you enamored means to be filled with love so to be in love, infatuated, to be smitten, to have a high liking for, um, to be, 
to be fascinated, to be enchanted, to be enraptured. Come on, cookies, go away. And I also just like the thought that it's got, because I wanted to put like armour in there because I felt like um, Granny Squares was a great protection. So I feel like Enamoured combines the two. So there's my overthought, very thought out name for this jacket. It is going to be my Enamoured pattern. And I am working on this so that I can release it to you guys. Um, I've actually worn this quite a bit even though it isn't at a finished state. Um, but I've because I've worn it, I've sort of worked out the things that I'm not so happy on so that I could work on another version, well, alter this, ready for um, doing all the maths so that the larger sizes can be made so that it can be tested and released. So some of the alterations I want to make, one of them being the front, the front rectangles, are gonna be solid navy. Um, some of my ends are poking out on this. Don't judge me. So those rectangles are going to be solid navy. And then also, the way I've done it, the back is longer than the front. And I was like, oh, it's okay, it's a drop hem. But actually, I don't like it. So I've come up with a way to make the front, the front panels as long as the back. Um, I also said to you that when I wear this, these panels are too big and I was going to take it back to where this pink row ends so that it just meets nicely in the middle. Um, so I've been working on that as an alteration. And then also the other thing that I feel could be improved on, um, it doesn't bother me necessarily but I like to make my patterns as strong as possible, is that when I did the sleeves I did them flat and I sewed them together. And the way I've sewn them together with the navy reminds me of Frankenstein. And I just think that that's a little bit unsightly. And I've noticed it flash up on camera and I've tried to like move it away. So I don't really want to be wearing a design where I don't want that on show. So the only options were was to leave long enough tails and try and wind it all in or to work it in the round. So I'm actually reworking sleeves at the moment in the round. And once all of these alterations have come together, I'll put this back together with sleeves in the round, with the navy panels that are slightly altered um, in shape, so they will be, uh, I was going to say skinnier, they will be reduced in width, there we go, get my brain in gear, and they will be longer, and then, um, yeah, that will be finished. And then I'll be able to ask you to test for me. Um, but I'm really, really loving this, really, really enjoying it. I've had so much positive feedback, which has blown my mind a little bit because it's just a project that I decided to work on um, more for me, really. And then you've all loved it and really jumped on board. And I've had so many people ask for the pattern. I've had so much interest. The vlog on that did really, really well. Um, yeah amazing thank you guys for supporting me and the things i love doing um as i said whilst i was working through the alterations that i wanted to make to that in my mind i started another one um anybody that's on my patreon thank you for signing up i have posted um a few updates on there so you will have seen this coming i did mention in the last vlog i wanted to make the granny square a granny stripe so that I could use up my scrap yarn um, I do a thing called the HGDC scrap ball challenge if you go back to last week's vlog I think that was solely about the HGDC scrap ball challenge so that is where I um, magic knot leftovers yarn bath partial skeins together to make a magic yarn cake and um, so it kind of looks like a, a whirl or a swell um, if you go to that vlog you'll see exactly how I do it and what it looks like in a ball and when I cake it up. Um, I don't have one here with me right now because I'm holding down here what I've made out of it. So I made up 120 grams worth of um, Magic HDDC Scrap Ball Challenge yarn and I've made the back panel for another cardigan. So here it is. It's... Um, it's heavily pink because there's no surprise there but if I just scroll you in it's got that little bit of mint 
coral lilacs pop of blue that blue and navy is actually from enamored sat here and then i've got bits of green more pink neutral glitter gray and i've actually bordered that in gray Um, just to jump back to this one, that weighs just under 500 grams of yarn um, and I'm a size, I'm a UK size 8 and that probably be, that's going to be my small size, I've probably got up to it, that's probably like an 8 to 10, I'm not sure that is in the US, I need to swat up on this, um, I'll have a look. And this back panel I basically use the measurements off that. It's just the tiniest little smidge bigger, but it'll be okay. Um, I weighed this this morning. This weighs 130 grams. So in effect, I used up, I think it was something like 125 or 127 grams of scrap yarn. And then I've bordered it in this gray um, because I'm gonna put this whole thing together in gray. Then I've done the chest pieces. So there's chest piece number one, and there's chest piece number two. Um, and again, I've made these based off what I decided to change on enamored, um, because this is gonna be enamored, but with a stripy back, basically. Um, I've made it so that these squares are reduced width, but they've got the longer length so that they match up with the back perfectly um, so the, the hems will stop at the same point and each front panel I only used about 60 grams of yarn so I could get away with just ordering one more 100 gram ball to finish the front panels on that to redo them but I want a little bit extra just so I can join it all back up so I'm gonna buy two balls 200 grams and have leftovers again. That's okay because it can be used up in something like this. Um, so that's the back, that's the chest pieces, that's the back panel. Um, and then I just need the two sleeves and then I can sew this all together and it will be done. Um, I started on sleeves last night. Let me just show you what I was working on. Um, so I was following my pattern that I'd written down for when I did them in the flat. It doesn't work. I think because when you sew it up, you you lose a little bit for your sewing allowance. Whereas in the round, it was it's just too big. So I started off with the grey because that's going to be the main colour. Um, and then I've gone into the yellow and a pink. That was entirely too big, but that is the exact same amount of stitches as this one. But once I've sewn it together, they, they're just the fit is so different, and that's a lot tighter on my wrist than what this is. So I reduced it a little bit in this version, and so I'm much happier with the way this section fits. But then I followed my pattern for this cuff, and it actually just bells out, and I feel like it's too big. I want it to sit just a bit tighter. I just need to reduce it a little bit. Um, and rather than frog, I've kept them to show you that sleeve planning is ridiculous. These will now be frogged and made into little bits to go on the actual sleeve, so don't worry. And I've now started this one. And that fits so much better. The only thing is, is I've left that neutral grey because I thought in my head that might look good. And actually, I want that to have the colour in it. So I'm now going to quickly rip that back, put a couple of coloured bits in there. Um, it should have three rounds of granny stripe in different colours. And then come back to the cuff. So once I've got two sleeves, I can then sew all of that together. Um, because this is just all different scraps put together, 
I'm going to do that for this part of the sleeve. Um, they're not going to match, they're just going to be random scrap effects, it's going to be part of the charm. Um, I did think about just releasing the pattern enamoured um, and leaving this, but I don't know, let me know if you think that this would be something that you'd also want to do. If you'd like the granny stripe version, let me know. We'll have to come up with some more names again, but that's okay. Um, I just decided to do, whilst I was working on the, the tweaks on that, to start another version. Um, and it meant that I could do the front panels and get them ready for when I get the yarn for that. So. There is a method in my madness, though it looks like I created extra work for myself. Um, so that's the granny stripe version of Enamoured. Um, I don't have enough hands to hold them both up. But we've got the square. And then we've got the stripe. Hmm. I was really unsure about that as I was working it up. But I kept being told, nope, carry on, it's going to look good. And I was speaking to one of the girls at work, hey Lara, who watched my last vlog and I was like, mind blown. Um, but she said she really likes the stripe. And also that she was working on a granny square whilst she was expecting her little baba. And so she'd like to make it into one of these, which that's amazing. That feels really, really good. So, yes, basically we have a pattern name. We have a work in progress. Um, I know what I'm going to do to fix this. I'm just going to get some more yarn, get it done for you, so that this jacket is ready. And then I'm also working on a stripe version for the HGDC Scrapboard Challenge. If you go on Instagram and look under that hashtag, you will find other people's work and um, if you're on Patreon, you'll get updates on this ahead of real time. Well, in real time, so ahead of the vlogs. Um, so let me know if you want to join in and if you think the granny stripe is a good idea. You can always do the granny stripe, each row is a different color, just like I've done each round in a different color. And I imagine I'll end up making one of those versions, but probably in a bigger size for somebody else because I only need a couple jackets myself. Um, so yes, that's my jackets. This week has been mainly about crochet. I've done a couple of rows on my knitting and nothing made to show you. So I'm gonna leave that for this week and bring that to you when there's more than just like an inch. So that is everything for this week. Uh, quite short and sweet, but it's got lots of good stuff in there. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching, thank you for being here. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up for me, um, subscribe, and if you can, then um, I will be posting about this upload in my Instagram stories. If you just screenshot that and put it in your stories for your followers to see um, and just say that my new vlog is live, then that way we can get the word out and grow this tribe even more. Um, if you do want to follow me on any social media, I'm on Instagram, that's where you'll find me most often. Um, HD Designs Crochet, there's a Facebook group that needs more love, HD Designs Crochet. Um, I'm on Twitter, HD Designs Crow. I definitely tweet on there at random times at night when I can't sleep. So follow along, maybe uh, put the notifications on and you'll see them on a normal time. If you're in America, you might actually be awake anyway. And I'm also on Patreon, so if you want to pledge on there and get more updates, see posts on what I'm doing, then please go along. All of the links are in the drop down below. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you again next Sunday. So in the meantime, happy making!